didn't change anything to my settings. You know something? Okay, I had to make a new audio input capture. Can people hear stuff? Never mind. What, yeah. Trent? Yeah, we're hearing you now. It's just quiet. So if you can put the input volume of that up higher. It is the highest it goes. I'll put up the gain is what I'll do. Shit! Hear that? Make sure I put up your guys' volume too so the audience can hear you at home. Speak! Clicking is Hello. Not, sp clicking is not speaking. Holy shit. I was typing. I'm uh, talking with a co worker so that I could get a trade task out of the way. Alrighty then. Hmm? So, um, what were we talking about before we learned that all the audio was muted? We were talking about... I was asking uh, about your day, because you did a lot. Well, I tried to do a lot. The only thing I really accomplished was inst was crappily installing my mailbox. Did you like, get... I did not do a good job on that. Uh, if it works, it works. You can fix it later when we have more time. You, you have yeah. other stuff to do. A part of part of the bad job is the fact that I got like the of course I got the cheapest mailbox because I thought to myself it's a mailbox how can it how can it go wrong well parts don't line up and the wood I could rip it apart with my hands Heather it was the, it was the weakest uh, oak painted pine I've ever encountered. Or it was just very, very young oak, so it does didn't have a chance to really harden as oak is supposed to be. Um, and then, um, and then I'm, I'm putting it together, and uh, screws keep breaking. I, I don't know. I've never had screws break on me, much less five of them. So then I had to go to the hardware store to get more screws, and then two of those uh, screws broke on me while I was trying to use them. I had to resort to using nails, and that didn't exactly work, so now I've got nails sticking out of the bottom, so be very careful until I can uh, take a belt sander to that thing and file those nails down. Holy heck. Yeah, Brian, this is what happens when you go too cheap. You gotta get the mid-range stuff. Yeah, but but even it, it, like even cheap, even cheap was like sixty five dollars for the post. That's how it be though. They they charged me sixty five dollars for a four by four with a, with a few screws and a hole in the bottom. Like for sixty five dollars for a post, I expect good wood. Good screws. I'm sorry, honey. That's not what you get. Oh, well, that's retarded. Mm, too bad. And if I ever meet the person who designed that, I'm going to invoke violence. They're dead, honey. There's no more violence you can possibly do. Just become a carpenter, honey. Take up carpentry. Um. So yeah, the the and then I um. And then I had to go back to the hardware store because I bought numbers. To put onto the mailbox so people know it's my house, and um, and the numbers I got were they weren't gonna work. Long story short, they weren't gonna work, so I had to go back and get new ones. And uh, yeah, oh, the first spot that I tried to put the mailbox, um, <laughs> it, 
it, it, it like I uh, I I dug the shovel in, and I hit this big thick tree root, and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting through that tree root. I'm gonna pick a different spot. So then I go to the other side of the driveway, and I shove the shovel down, and I jump on it, and I hit a rock. That's what I was expecting the first time. Ronnie, your life is like a skit out of the Three Stooges, except you're just one. <laughs> you're all three wrapped in one. <laughs> I am, and it sucks. So, um, I, I find I find the perimeter of this rock, and it turns out to be like some probably hundred-year-old slab of concrete that had been buried through the multiple times that, you know, of people uh, living here and however many times the road got repaved over. And so, so um, it was like a 100-pound rock, but I managed to dig it up and get it out of the way. And then I took a sledgehammer to it so I could break it up into smaller rocks that are easier to move. Um, and then, but then the hole was, the hole that I took that rock out of was too deep. So I had to move the uh, post a few inches to the left anyway. So d did all that for nothing, but the post is not entirely secure in the ground because I don't have concrete. I have no experience with concrete. I didn't want to learn today. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't pour any concrete to really make it solid in the ground there. Uh, but so I just buried it a few inches. And what I did is I took that, is I took that, uh, that boulder that I pulled out of the ground and I put the chunks of it around the base. So now it's like, it's like supporting all of its weight against the post of the mailbox. So it's not going anywhere. And that's the most clever thing I did today. And then I, I walked around this new house. Um, well, I should say new, it's 41 years old. I, I, um, and I tried to change some light bulbs. Found out I have a bunch of um, uh, busted uh, what, circuit breakers. So I gotta That's figure funny. out yeah, I gotta figure out how to fix those tomorrow. And I didn't even get to all the other stuff I had to get to today, which, uh, should I read this list, Heather? Sure, maybe the chat will remind you about it when the time comes. Oh, let's see here. The list for today. Hang on. My phone takes forever to load things. Well, you have a minute. Please read the chat and tell me what is the hubbub today. I hear there's a big conversation. Uh, yeah, uh, Spencer, why don't you do that for me right now? Yeah, let's see. What is chat up to? Complaining about audio, complaining about audio. Audio uh, fix, go home. It looks like a bunch of random stuff. They're having there their conversations. Segment of Spanish here. Ooh, uh, the Wicked Syndicate wants to know if we have seen the, or if Heather has seen the trailer for the Disney Cinderella movie. I have not. I didn't know they were making another one. I did not either. All right. So uh, my my shopping list for today was Gorilla Glue, which I ended up not getting because I didn't remember why I needed it. That's you gonna piss me off later. You needed it for your later. desk. You needed it for your desk. Uh, my desk is fine though. No, you had that one part that goes like. Pfft. My what? The one part on your desk that keeps coming undone where you want to make your sound booth. That's oh the hutch of the desk. That's what it was. Okay. Don't you feel stupid now? I knew I knew it was gonna be something. Uh, ceiling fans plural. But I ended up only getting one because, gosh darn, I'm going broke over here. Uh, light bulbs. Uh, supplies to fix the door. So there's another story for you, uh, for you, uh, stream. Um, while I was getting my washing machine and dryer delivered yesterday, they accidentally 
broke a chunk of my door frame off. Oh, wow. Oh. So now I have to fix that, too. That's um, nice. I had to get a toilet rebuild kit because the toilet in the master bedroom uh, stopped working three days after I moved in. And uh, floodlights, I didn't get... Uh, the, I need floodlights for the for the uh, patio and the porch, but I don't know what type of lights they take yet. I'm going to need some help with that. And I'm going to need some help figuring that out. Also, the patio lights are one of the ones with a with a broken circuit breaker. So until I fix that circuit breaker, floodlights aren't going to do me any good anyway. Uh, wire wall mounts. I did get these because I've got uh, cables running throughout the whole house. And I want to get them up off the floor so nobody trips on them. Oh, yeah, I'm terrible with that. I trip on everything. I trip on things that aren't even there. And key organizers. And I did get key organizers so I could label my keys and not have to uh, guess every time I go to the door. Oh, yeah. Make sure you have spare keys that you hide somewhere. Yep. Well, things are good. Those are looking good. What'd you do with uh, Cruiser the other day? Uh, well, he just came in, and uh, we, we talked for a couple of minutes, and then he set up his air mattress and went to bed. And um, he's off at his, um, he was going to a, a one-day sci-fi festival convention type thing. I wanted to go, but I had all these projects to do, so I I couldn't go with him today. Um, I... He, his original plan was to come back here, which I hope he does eventually. He left his air mattress in the guest bedroom. Um, but it's... Apparently, that event was about 90 minutes away from my house. Mm. A little bit of a commute. Hmm. Yeah, so we got all that going on. Sounds like you are going to have a fun insert period of time here. It's going to be a few months, especially if I if I uh, don't get any help. If I, I got to do all this stuff by myself, it's going to be several months before this before this place is truly functional. Fun. Yep, but I did get myself one ceiling fan, so hopefully I can cool down my bedroom. Uh, and tomorrow, I'm, uh, let me see here. I'm trying to find my list for what I was supposed to do today. Because it wasn't just the mailbox. Oh, I was also supposed to fix the door and install my washer and dryer. Um, oh, yeah, you gotta do that. Yeah, especially because I'm, I'm uh, getting low on clothes. I was going to do the lights, but I can't. Um... So tomorrow, I've got to try to install the ceiling fan. I would do the washer and dryer first. Those are uh, and uh, fix the toilet, fix the door frame, install the laundry. And uh, yeah, that should be the project for tomorrow. I was hoping to get all this stuff done today so that I could dedicate tomorrow to unpacking. But that's not going to happen. How's the chat doing? Well, I wouldn't know. Chat is doing. Uh, what they do? Zero or wants to know if we've seen the Sonic the Hedgehog two teaser. I've been asked that last week. Uh, no, I still haven't seen it. I'm gonna leave my mind pure for Sonic the Hedgehog two. I actually, uh, well, you already knew this, but chat doesn't. I saw the Sonic the Hedgehog movie Thursday night. What are your thoughts? I really liked it, and I hope the Sega game department was taking notes. Mm, yeah. yeah. Because Sonic having absurd lightning powers, brilliant. Awesome. Good. Well, that's just how you uh, denote speed in live-action format. They do the exact same thing with the Flash. That's fair. I was saying more at the end where he gets up and does his big hero speech thing and he's surrounded by this aura of blue lightning. For dramatic effect. Mm -hmm. And of course, his quills have electric properties because they uh, shocked Robotnik. I gotta watch that movie again. 
It was nice. You guys didn't hear about Jim Carrey injuring his back on that movie? I never did hear that. Yeah, because he carried it so much. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Spencer okay. knows the punchline. You you got me legitimately worried about Jim Carrey's safety. He's funny. He's my Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage and Jim Carrey are two very different <laughs> types of actors. They're both pretty crazy when it comes down to it with their acting. But uh, did you hear the one, the movie that Nicolas Cage was going to be in Willy's Wonderland came out and uh, I hear people didn't like it but I'm like it's suppo I'm pretty sure it was bad but like it's Nicolas Cage. It could be like funny bad. I still have hopes. They are not dashed by y'all's criticism on Twitter. Oh well we don't listen to Twitter anyway. I go on there for tasty memes and art. So much art. The artist's gotta stop making art so I can just take a minute. Mm, the solution to this is to not follow so many artists. But their art is so good! They make the content that panders to me. Yeah, you just gotta stop subscribing to so many artists. Fucking, don't tell me how to live my life. If there is a problem, I will solve it. Whatever you do with the information is up to you. Oh, holy buck, Ronnie, that was stressful. How many times have I told you that solving the problem is not what I want? I just want you... Solving the problem is you just listening to me talk about the problem so that I can feel better about it. God. Yep. So you're such a typical man. You can't just, like, do what I want you to do. I can't do that on stream, Heather. I can. Uh, we we need things to talk about. Oh, Ronnie! Just Heather. just do the things that I want you to do. Uh, Battleship Agent Core says hi, Princess. Yo, what's up? Do you like my Deadpool shirt? He looks super muscly in it. Though I do not. But I lost weight this week. Yep. And next week, we'll lose more. Maybe I could be down to 170 by the time I get to you. Hopefully, maybe. Uh, let's run some numbers on that, because we're, uh, we're trying to get you down in, in um, May, right? Yes. Okay, do, do we That's know? a lot of time. It was like Memorial Day, wasn't it? When's Memorial Day? It's like, all, isn't it like almost at the end of the month? Uh, Spencer, can you help me out? Uh, Memorial Day. When is Memorial Day? We're, uh, we suck at Memorial Day, obviously. Memorial Day is May 31st. See, that it is the end of the month, Memorial Day. We did not do a good job of remembering Memorial Day. Well, I kinda did. I said it was at the end of the month, and it was! But that's like, if we're counting most of February, March, April, May, I got like three and a half months. All right, let me count these weeks. So uh, I can be in the 170s by then, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen weeks. So, uh, and you typically do one to two pounds a week. So that could potentially, if you work really hard, be. 28 pounds, right? Which is significant. Um, we gotta account for foul ups and bad weeks. I've had weeks where I've gained a pound back. Yep, so let's say, you know, let's say, um, you know, uh, let's bring that down to uh, 25 for times you only. Get, you know, uh, 
lose one pound and um, so maybe somewhere between 15 and 20 if you work really hard and um, I don't know if you want me to tell the stream where you're at now but that let them know quick. let them know how fat I am this is your waifu you gotta accept yes. every inch of me yep well Would I don't have every pound of you in this case also well, that pounds convert to pounds become inches eventually well, Thank if you all are curious, I'm 5'4". That is a very average height. I'm sorry if you wanted me to be smaller or bigger. Taller. Yeah, so um, she's at 188.4, if I remember correctly right now. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like 44. So, yeah, you definitely be coming close to 170. Let's Jane. say minus 15 to be conservative. You'd be at 173. And if we went... Um, if we made a high estimation of uh, 20, you'd be down to 168. And if we really turned you up to your full potential uh, while keeping the average that you're on right now, uh, you could be at 158 by then. Let's get, that's flying too close to the sun, Bronny. Well, it's it's what you have the potential to do, right? You'd have to work pretty hard for that, and that you know that would be difficult without me there to, to help you. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good, all things considered. I'll definitely try my best. Mm -hmm. Been doing our my goal, best. Our goal would be to get you down to like our ultimate goal is. Probably 145 and uh, and a uh, 12 to 15 percent body fat. Now that I think is like almost flat out impossible. So. Oh no no no! It's 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 not because people much worse off than you have have pulled it off. Well, they and have you've like come, and you've come pretty close yourself once or twice as well. So I know you can do it. It's gonna take longer. The closer you get to that goal, the harder it's going to be, but it is definitely possible. Definitely not the most encouraging pep talk. Uh, it's a certainly realistic pep talk. I mean, yeah, sure, you rather, for sure. Would you rather I lie to you? Yes, lie to me and be like, Heather, you, you can lose a million pounds, but you'll always be awesome and sexy. <laughs> well, you know I'm going to think that way regardless. Who just joined? I don't know. I don't know. Stop talking about uh, weight loss. Let's talk about tits. Let's talk about fucking tits. Yeah. Louie, Louis, your breasts are too big, and I think you need to lose some weight. You should join my eight-week program and learn Rex Kwon Do. These tits were made for fucking. I love it. That's just what they'll do, yeah. Brody, I have a better idea. Let's just do a show category, or a... Uh, not chronicling his weight loss, and we'll call him the bigot Louis are. Mm. Did you just call Louis a bigot? <laughs> no, I meant to say biggest, but I typoed with my voice. You know what? It's all a pun. <laughs> it's just like we try to we try to get Louis to do exercise, and he just goes, "Screw you, you spick." He just picks a different racial slur for me every time. Mm -hmm. I'm like, come on, come on, Louie, hit this tire with it with the sledgehammer. You know, it'll be it'll be fun. You can imagine it's me. I don't I don't remember asking you to do any of this for me, a freaking chink. It's, and it just keeps going. Well, it's a good thing Heather doesn't have monetization yet, because she'd be losing it tonight. <laughs> I got Patreon. I, I ain't worried about dick. <laughs> I don't think chink is demonetized, actually. I don't like racial slurs in general, so... If you I could probably come up with some uh, slurs that are demonetized, but I don't think y'all want me to do that. I would... Yeah, please don't. I will disconnect you. From life. Please, I've been wanting that for years. Leave it in the will that I get your house, and I'll do it. Alright, you got it. On a completely unrelated note, I'm very disappointed in myself. I tried to drop 
a water bottle into a trash can that's literally within arm's reach of me and a mist. <sighs> and that oh, fire, no. and that mist. And that fire, that's what I was thinking too! I missed, I missed both times. Then I got popsicle. Then I missed again. <laughs> I fell uh, asleep in the snow. Woke up with a popsicle <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> So, um, Doodlebug wants to know what you're making. I'm making a, the cuff of mittens for Brawny's mother for Christmas. I mean, I have a finished one right here. Uh, are, oh, are those shit. gonna match the, um... The, the scarf I got her? Yeah. Uh, guys, I totally forgot to give knife for medication. I gotta go. I'll be right back. Gosh darn it. We didn't account. Uh, we didn't account for this very well, did we? Not really. And I keep drinking. What are you drinking, Louis? The pain away. Okay, that's more of a verb, and I was looking for a noun. Wait, you've never heard of a pain away? It's the most awesome new drink. You're both really bad at this. Um, I was never trying. Louie, what did you do today that was fun? <laughs> fun? Absolutely nothing. You should change that. You should do some things that are fun, Louie. You'll be a lot happier. That sounds like a lot of work that I frankly don't want to do. It's not. It sounds like it. But it's not. You're lying to me, aren't you? Nope. You don't even realize you're doing the work. Like, if I was to sit here and tell you everything there is to do, it would sound tedious. But if you're having fun, you don't realize you're doing it. The Gorna says, Heather's off. Let's talk about Germany's energy policies. What are I remember, energy policies? I, I don't know, but I do remember hearing a comedian tell a story about how he went to Germany and tried to do a joke that he usually does in America about, you know, blackouts or, or you know, power going out, and the Germans didn't get it, because <laughs> apparently that just straight up doesn't happen over there. Apparently the Germans... Nice. Yeah, apparently the Germans keep their infrastructure maintained and up to date. <laughs> Could you imagine... Well, we could do that, uh, but we've got a bad habit of not killing our corrupt politicians, and I think we need to get back into the habit of killing our per corrupt politicians. Mm. Medium steak. Yes, Louis, medium steak is pretty good. That's what I'm eating. Cool. Did you get me any? You're gonna have to wait your turn. Okay. Mostly because I ran out of steak, and then I'll have to head to the store to get more. Mm. Why does this stream always make me hungry? Because food, food is fun to talk about. Why are you so weak of will? Because it's six and I'm hungry. See, I wouldn't argue that's weak of will, because weak of will would be me succumbing to that hunger and doing something about it. Nah, you mu you gotta take the next step of just not being affected by talking about food in the first place. That would be an effective next step. Yep. So what are the fun plans for tomorrow there, Spencer? Well, this week is stocking week, at, or not stocking, inventory week at Dollar General, which means mm. I have a 9 to 4 shift almost every single day, except for Wednesday, which I believe is going to be 5 a.m. to either 2 or 4 in the afternoon. Actually, I can right. check that right now. Well, those are some good hours. You'll get some, uh, you'll get some good money out of that. I will. Uh, yeah, here we go. So tomorrow I have a 9 to 4, 
Monday, I have an 8 to 3. Tuesday, I have an 8 to 3. Wednesday, I have a 5 to 2. Thursday, 8 to 3.30. And Friday, 8 to 3. All right, good stuff, man. Get that money. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. I usually give her her medication before the stream, but because I was busy with other things, I forgot. So I just gave her her medication. All right. I have an alarm uh, to remind me every day. Brown is trying to make me talk about my life. How dare he do that? Louis doesn't want to share details about his life. It's top secret. All right. Uh, I'll do it again. <laughs> oh my god, what have it down? Gotta bring Do it again, to Browning. Do it again. Uh, do again. what? Do another sigh. That wasn't a sigh. I was just taking a breath. No, that was a sigh. What's the difference? He's sad. Because I haven't sent him any flowers for Valentine's Day. Because a lemon loaf wasn't enough. I get it, Bronny. You feel like you need to be treated a little more pampered-like. I can do that for you. You just need to give me the go-ahead. I didn't send you any flowers either, and I felt really bad about that. You sent me some chocolates that I specifically asked for, so I was good. I was happy about that. If you had, like, gotten me some, like, different chocolates, I would have been like, but I told you exactly the chocolates I wanted. I couldn't have been more clear. <laughs> they were Ghirardelli, by the way. They were magnificent. Uh, Cruiser came over here yesterday, and as per usual, he brought me a whole bunch of food. Um, and in that food is a box of Ferrero Rochers. Nice. And those are, like, some of my favorites. But we're in Lent season, what did you give up? And I, candy. Candy and ice cream. If you want, you can send me those Ferreros. Yeah, I might, just to get the temptation out of my house. I'll take them off your hand, Ryan. Uh, uh, we'll alternatively, get, get yourself something like a cell phone safe and lock them in there until the end of life. Perhaps. So I made myself a crunch wrap this morning. But like breakfast crunch wrap. Potatoes and egg. I like the way it comes out when I fold it. <laughs> yeah, you do a really good job of that. Yeah, I haven't had a chance to make it for anyone else. I just make it for me. I'm I'm upset that I didn't have cheese. It tastes so much better with shredded cheese in it. But mm. I picked up cheese today. Do you shred your own cheese or do you get free shredded cheese? I shred my own cheese. I hear it's supposed to be better that way. It is. Good. I will not get angry at you. Good. I would not like you to get angry at me. But yeah, it was fucking, uh... Cheese really makes it. But it was still pretty good, just potato and eggs with, uh, Taco Bell sauce that I just had around. Oh, let's see here. Uh, Syndicate wants to know how often you use chocolate syrup. In what? It depends on what I'm making. I put it on ice cream, sure. I have plenty of ice creams that have chocolate syrup in them. In, like, recipes. I mean, I don't keep a bottle of chocolate syrup just hanging around because I use it all the time. I usually have a specific purpose for it. What, kitty? What, kitty, kitty? What, kitty? She's like, hey. She's mad at you. No, nah, she's freaking coming over here because she wants me to pet her. She she like she acts all mad when I give her the insulin shot, but then later she's like, "Hey, I want a pet behind the ears." And I'm like, "Oh, so you forgive me then?" She goes like, eh, "You know, whatever." Hmm. Uh, Doodlebug says, "You think that's bad, Louie? I hurt my knee on Wednesday, and I'm expected to come into work Thursday. How messed up is that?" Well, I, uh, did I say something that was bad? Uh, I think she meant to uh, direct that at Spencer. Oh, uh, yeah, because it was slipping on ice. That That's rough. A lot of y'all bumping, like, busting your asses on that shit. Stop confusing me for Spencer. I will fucking kill you. Don't tell them that. <laughs> I, I would hope your audience would know what a joke is. No, all they take is threats. And that's all I'll give. Kitty, 
what are you doing? <laughs> uh, they said sorry. Not forgiven. Yes, you can get on my fat ass thighs. Here she is. Excuse me, that is not the right adjective to describe yourself with. I think you know the proper one. Thick as fuck thighs. Positive mental attitude. Half the battle. Positive. You're not a fat ass. You thick. And this is our little Diabito. My little Diabito. Look at her. Look at her beautiful She's little face. Shut up, idiot. What are you telling me, kitty? I'm gonna start calling her Diabetty. Yeah, I'm fine with that. She does have diabetes. Diabetes. Okay. Oh, kitty, you're scratching my thighs. I'm wearing freaking shorts this week. Don't scratch me. Hey, Heather. Mm hmm Diabetes. Yes, that is her name. All my food is done. No one said. Well, now you gotta go to the market. Kitty, your claws are too sharp. Do I have to go get them cut? No, that's my soda! This is so depressing. I haven't heard that one a million times. If you think that's depressing, check out my life. Louie, I'm gonna come over there and just be your life coach. And you don't have to like it, but it's gonna happen. Poor kitty. Yes, I love you. I love you very much. Oh my gosh, why do you keep asking? No, Roddy. You will not do that. <laughs> and do something about it yourself or shut up! <laughs> no, not that either. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you! That's fine, you can do that. Good, finally we agree. So does Heather's evil freaking cat. In case Chad was wondering, I am just sitting here with a this is fine smile on my face. I'm just enjoying my kitty's present. She's okay, just a little How did this get held for review? Yeah, I don't know. She just said she's so cute. YouTube is retarded. My poor baby. You know, she does really bad things to herself. Hey, are any of you guys sensitive toward gore? Not particularly. Now look at this. Look at what she did to her poor belly. She ripped it up. Jeez. Yeah, she's got a problem. She's gonna see the vet on Monday. We're also this gonna see- just constantly goes back and forth between biting herself and UTIs. Yeah, I think that's kind of- well, UTIs are just to be expected when it comes with diabetes. So she'll be on and off of them for, I think, the rest of her life. My poor kitty. Why are you so sick? Why oh, are you so sick? I want to help you. I want to help you. I liked how she just looked at the stream like, what? I don't need your help. Everyone loves knife, right? She's a little queen. She's a little queen. Mm, no. I don't love knife. Why not? She is wonderful and I love her. You loving her is not, not going to be enough for me to love her. Why don't you love her? She's awesome. She is the best, most evil, most diabolical looking cat ever. Because she is a bitch. She's a cat, stupid. Those are dogs. Alrighty then. <laughs> They also said she might be 13, which is kind of awesome. A black cat that's 13 with diabetes. That's the most unluckiest thing I've ever heard of. Hey, um, so maybe we should just give knife to uh, Zero Aura. He says he wants the cat. No, he can't have my child. Girl, did you get litter on your butt? All right, get the white beast. Hey, Heather. Yes. You should find the uh, 
you should find an Alolan Meowth in Pokemon Go that you have that has the best stats and name it Knife. Nah, she'd be a Torcat, you know? Ter what do they call it? Terracats. The fire type starter that's a cat. See, I was thinking that at first, but I thought, no, that's more Tiger than House Cat. Dude, she is a freaking fierce cat. No, well, she's not. She just thinks she is. She's got moxie. She's got diabetes. She's got her mom cleaning her butt. I'll fully admit uh, the attitude Doodlebug is Doodlebug says Litton. Yeah, Litton. She's Litton. So we're uh, we're done with crocheting. Welcome to the petting the cat stream. I was just cleaning her up with the wipey. I keep wipies around to clean her up with, if she like had like especially her feet. She gets litter stuck between her toes that she doesn't clean herself sometimes, and I clean it. These days she's been keeping up on it because she realizes if she doesn't do it, I'm going to do it, and she doesn't like it. She sometimes gets litter on her head for some reason. I think. I gotta wipe the top of her, like, area where her litter box is, because I think litter's getting on the ceiling and she's bumping her head on it. I've had to wipe her head, head a couple times. And just now, I wiped her butt. <laughs> wow, Zara Aura really wants that cat. I'm sorry, Zara Aura, she's not for sale. She's my child, and I, I'm the only one that I trust to make sure that everything she needs gets done. Because, like I said, she's a cat with special needs. She needs insulin twice a day, and depending on what else is wrong, she needs other medications, and she has to have regular vet visits concerning her problems. Mm -hmm. Syndicate wants to know if it's weird that they can see Heather to be the type to push knife in a stroller. I have a stroller. That's exactly what she does, too. Yeah, I have a pink a polka dot stroller. It's pink with white polka dots. Knife absolutely hates it. I have a harness that matches. She hates that too. Knife is all, I am vengeance. I have the knife. And Heather's like, aw, come on. Let's go with the pink polka dot stroller. She doesn't want to go for walks with me. It makes me sad. I want to go with walks on her. I should have gotten her when she was a kitten so she'd get trained into it. Cats have their own personality. They um, they may never get into it. But I if they don't her. like it, that's really all there is to it. But she doesn't even want to try it, Ronnie. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you, Heather. There's nothing we can do about it. But she's my baby. How's the crocheting going? You know, it's going all right. Shit. I gotta stop rubbing my face on her. I'm pretty sure that's why I get teeny pimples right here. Might be. But she acts so cute! Honey Drop says knife is an introvert. Oh yeah, totally. She doesn't like meeting new people. She gets all cautious and hissy. I'm surprised she accepted me as quickly as she did. She was hoping you were going to be normal. Well, you can't say she's totally unhappy. Look at her. She found an owner that knows how to pet her right. Yep. Looks like a happy cat to me. She picked me out of everyone else. No. Yeah, she totally did. That's what happened. We have video proof of it. Sweetie recorded it. They. She was totally mean to everybody. Totally hissy. Total. Total wild card.
and they were just like okay we're gonna open it enough so you can go in and meet her and see how it goes because they weren't confident she wasn't gonna like hiss at me or something and I was just like okay and I went in and I gently started petting her like this real soft like and then she come on kitty do it she put her head into my hand and started letting me pet her and that's how we knew and as sweetie was watching she was just like yep she just picked you it was like a freaking moment man mm -hmm. alright uh, syndicate wants to know what type of carrier do you have when you take knife places what kind of carrier? Well, uh, we do have to take her to the vet occasionally. It's just a standard carrier we got at the shelter because we needed to, um, like, I obviously don't take her in her stroller to go to the vet and stuff. Like, it's not enough distance of walking. I take her in the car. I don't know what kind it is. It's just a standard thing. Sweetie says it's the kind that would be, like, the right size to go on an airplane or something. Hmm. Thinks that's why she picked out that particular size, but I don't think it would fit. But, uh, what do I know? You wanna get down? You want to get down? Tagorna says, speaking of cats, I discovered that my cat, who I feed with expensive cat food while I survive on plain white rice, is now living with my neighbor, and I've never felt more betrayed. Oh, do you let your cat out? Aw, oh, kitty, I can see what you're doing to your back when you bend over like this. That is just clear spots taken out. Mm-mm. Do you want me to put you on the floor? Do you want to go on the bed? What do you want to do? She doesn't know. Let's eat her. the cat. No, we're not eating her. We're gonna eat the cat. Eat or For a second, yeet. I didn't... For a second, I didn't know if you said eat or yeet. No, same question. <clears throat> no. We're not doing either of those things. We're not, but Spencer is. Excuse me, I love cats. For dinner. Yeah, I love cows, but I still eat them. Same with me and chickens. Animals just taste delicious. Meat. So I just remembered something that will help us fill the silence. Mm-hmm. My, uh, the Dollar General I work at has a work Discord server, and some of my coworkers tell stories from their shifts. Oh, lovely. One of my coworkers calls everyone Hun, and apparently someone got offended at that. Oh my god, so stupid. And said customer also got offended because, uh, we have the, uh, EBT food stamp cards here, mm -hmm. but our registers won't take them unless you specifically press the button for it before they swipe it. It basically throws a tantrum if you do it any other way. So whenever a card fails, our first question is, was that EBT? Because they're supposed to tell us beforehand, but they never do. And the same lady got offended at that. Okay, she was just looking to get mad. Mm-hmm. I hate that. I hate when fucking customers and people or people just go up to a place like just like they are angry already and they just want to be something have something else to be angry about and go off on you. I had that too many times at Taco Bell. Like someone just pulls into the drive thru and I'm like, Hello, welcome to Taco Bell, what can I get for you? He's like, Well, you can do this and this for me and like throw in a fit about something I don't even know what the fuck they're mad about and I'm like, Okay. And, like, then they'll get pissy. Like, one bitch got so pissy, she like, saw my manager walking outside and started complaining to her. And it's like, hey, this customer just came up to us. And I'm just like, yeah, she she came into the drive-thru mad about something. And they kind of just went like, yeah, customers do be like that, though. Mm -hmm. But she had someone else with her, and she just sort of like, we've had no problems with Heather up until here. And I'm like, do you really have to say that? Like, doesn't it just commonly go that the customers, like, especially in this kind of system, it was when I was working at Taco Bell, so, like, the customers in these situations are just always wrong. Like, don't go with that customer is always right crap. It's fast food. They're wrong. Oh, They're I just could rant for hours about customer is always right. Customers See, this is right. why I couldn't do this job, because I will roast somebody. And I hate when customers come up and be like, well, the customer's always right. And I go like, bitch, you ain't right about anything ever in your life. Look at you. You're a fat sack of shit at a Taco Bell in the bad side of town. 
The customer is always right replies to market conditions and recognizing the demands of the consumer base, not about kowtowing to a single bratty customer. Jeez. I'd like to be in a retail, like a fast food situation again, but really not giving a shit this time. And some reason I was like, you are a fat sack of shit with camel toe. You ain't nothing in your life right. You ain't right about this either. Mm -hmm. Fucking See, people, though. I would love it if my store could make the standard, like, written in the rules, uh, the goodbye message would be, I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. Fucking. Which is... Hey, I'd take that. Mm -hmm. It'd really only be a win-win. The happy customers feel great about themselves, and any of them who want to raise a stink about it only have themselves to blame. Mm-hmm. Because if they know they're being unpleasant and want to complain about the fact that they were told that their day should be unpleasant because they were, well, that sounds like a you problem. No, you, like, you just, just admitted you were a bitch. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, let's just not go back to those jobs if we can help it. I don't think anybody should work those jobs. They don't pay enough anyway. Yeah, we gotta get robots to replace those jobs. So what am I supposed to do then? I don't know. Become a robot. Build the a robots. Robot is never, a robot is never gonna be able to stock a shelf. They got forklifts. Come on. Robots uh, won't be able to stock shelves. They just won't be able to do it well. I don't know. Robots are getting better and better all the time. But fucking, uh, Amazon, Amazon, uh, fucking warehouses almost completely run on robots these days. Just, like, only a few that's things. Fair. Yeah, like, only a few things are really done by human beings, and that's, like, stuff that's more detail-orientated that might be harder for, like, an AI to comprehend. Yep. Might be, I don't know. Chug Zone says, hey, Heather. Yo, what's up? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Basically. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Bigorna <laughs> says, my robots will never be able to betray you for cold microwave lasagna. Oh my god. You forgot to read the one before that. <laughs> I totally realized why the other one turned out so small. I didn't make enough rows. I thought I did, but I didn't. Mm. Ten, four. Yeah, I did 14. Right now, I did 14. I wonder if I should just make them both small and make one mitten normal size. You know what? I'll just make your mom another mitten. Like, I'll just, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this cuff, but it's not the standard size it's supposed to be. Yeah, fuck it. Well, you got sweatpants now. Sweatpants? Oh, sweatbands. I thought you said sweatpants, and I'm like, what? What kind of <laughs> I thought you said that, too. <laughs> nope. Sweatbands. Yeah. And then make and then make the uh make a headband of the same type and there. Workout videos. <laughs> I don't think I wanna do that. Oof. That doesn't seem like the kind of content you'd make. It's not my kind of not not my cup of tea. I only do exercise because I really have to, and I hate doing it all the time. Yep. <laughs> we'll find something you enjoy eventually, Heather. Brownie. I need two hundred dollars. Why do you need two hundred dollars? For these pair of headphones. What pair of uh, headphones? What pair of headphones? <laughs> the ninety nine Neo. The ninety nine Neo. I'm not sure I can allow this. Why not, Brownie? Because the $10 earbuds sound just as good. That is 100% false. I have to second that sentiment. <laughs> Fine. Um, I'll need to borrow $300 then, Brownie. No. Yes. Nah, we're uh, not doing that. It's the same pair of headphones, but they're made from mahogany. That's even more unnecessary. Mahogany's nice, though. But it looks Louis. so nice. Louis, 
get yourself but... some TMA twos. They're more expensive, but you can change each part individually. Uh, as nice as that would be, I need to keep it to the 200 range for now. 200? All right, let's see what this configurator can do. Ah, the TMA2 DJs. Uh, Chokezone wants to know if Heather would, uh, ha have seen the first Terminator film. Oddly enough, no. All right, so do we murder Heather now or later? No, I spell a movie night. I have that every Saturday, but no one seems. She would like it though. As much as I like the Predator movie, because I don't know if they could beat the Predator. Um, it's it's uh it's different from the Predator movie. I like the Predator. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Syndicate wants to know if you would hold a squirrel. Sure, like a tame one. I wouldn't go touching a wild one. Oh, I forget which country it is, but in one of the smaller Asian countries, uh, they have squirrels that are so used to people you could pet them. There is a lot of animals like that in the world that are just so used to human occupation, like monkeys and like those islands in Japan that have like a whole bunch of rabbits. There's a rabbit island, a cat island, a deer island, and a dog island, if I remember correctly. Yeah, like they got tons of that. Pardon me for a minute, guys. Okay. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Are you though? No, not not the stream. This game. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Actually, speaking of the stream, uh, Heather, what will the plan be for timing of the stream once you are living in Florida? I would have it the same time, but Easter time. So it'd be Eastern Standard Time, seven o'clock. Which for over here uh, in the West, it would be like five o'clock which i think is still a decent time and uh yeah so like for the rest of the country it'd be fine it would just be like yeah time for me would still be seven o'clock all right i wonder how it's gonna be for brawny once i'm living over there because i'm gonna be going to bed and at, at, at the 10 o'clock that time and he's gonna be used to staying up at one eight one o'clock to say good night to me when i'm going to bed hmm. on the west coast it's gonna be weird I'm betting he'll either find other friends to talk to, or he'll do some editing work during the time he'd normally be staying up for you. That, or he's gonna have to actually get a normal sleep schedule. Hmm. Imagine that. Ronnie with a good sleep schedule. I can't. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, we were talking about how, like, when I go live there, what time the stream would be, and I'd be like, the same, but Eastern time. But mm. I was also talking about what's it going to be like for you with me living over there and me go regularly going to bed at 10 o'clock and you're used to staying up until like 1 to talk to me at night. Uh, my sleep schedule will get a lot better. Of that I am almost certain. You're welcome, I guess. See, I was betting you would either find other internet friends to talk to or you'd do editing during the time you'd normally be staying up. Uh, that's also possible. Because, I mean, there there is always a lot for me to do. Uh, like, on alternating days during the week, I don't typically get home until like 11 o'clock, sometimes midnight, because I teach a fitness class and then we have dinner together. So Heather and I were actually talking about this a couple of nights ago. I should probably invest in a slow cooker and uh, just start something in the morning and have it ready by the time workout is done so that I can come home and dinner is there and we don't have to spend an hour making it and we don't have to and then sometimes we spend an hour or two hanging out after that and uh, then it's midnight yeah and I was... so if we can just come home and have dinner right away that saves us a couple of hours 
Yeah, like I was telling him, like I was like, yeah, I usually stay out till this late, and I'm like, that's too late. I don't want to stay out that too late because I do want to join in on the exercise group when I'm there. But if they're staying out, who knows where until midnight? I'm like, nah, fam, I got work tomorrow. I ain't staying out that late. What is Dang that sound? It, it's, it's birds. birds. Uh, Would you like me to choke it to death? No. <laughs> well, that's the only way the sound stops, man. If you want that sound to stop, it's gotta die. You do not... You can't really control the birds. birds not like yeah. that. Birds are pretty stupid. Except crows. crows. And some parrots. Crows are a little too smart. Well, the corvids in... Which I learned that uh, red... Um, uh, red wings and uh, blue jays are part of that class as well. Which I thought was really cool. That's cool. But I would I would love to train a murder of crows or ravens, uh, and um, have them like follow me around and do stuff for me. I've read stories about people doing that. I would train them to bring me money. That's what I would do. Uh, like, find me coins. Find me bills. <laughs> if you if you look, you will find it. Your birds, your vision is a lot better than mine. I mean, it would probably only cost you, like, a large fry from McDonald's a day, because you just start bribing all the local crows and they start bringing you stuff. Exactly. The only problem is not eating the fries before you can give them to the crows. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's easy enough. I've got, I've got some decent willpower. And I'll eat with them, and they'll be like, hey, this guy is one of us. He can't fly, but he's definitely one of us. And he's got fries, so he's cool. Yep. Although I'd want to get something that's, like, actually nutrici uh, nutritious for the birds. You gotta get them that bread with the grains in it. Yep. Ooh, uh, have you ever heard the story of the person who uh, stopped a football game with pigeons? Uh, no, I haven't heard about this. Oh. So, this guy, during the summer, goes down to his local uh, sports stadium at the high school. He blows a whistle and then throws a bunch of bird seed on the field. And he does this the entire summer. And then the first game of the season, the referee blows his whistle... And hundreds of birds flock to the field <laughs> and delayed the game for like half an hour, I think. I love it. That's the kind of thing I would I would want to do. Fuck football. Foosball is the devil. <laughs> What's going on in the chat, boys? Not much. And they're the incorrectly guessing where you are. Right now? Yep. I'm uh, in Arizona, guys. Yep. So it is not currently 7 for Heather. It is currently 8. Yeah, it's 8.08 right now. Mm-hmm. It is Bob o'clock. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> you guys are dumb. It's 7. Okay, Mr. Central Time. The only seven Excuse here... Me. The only seven here is me. Also, I just realized I did my math wrong. You may proceed to ber uh, berate me? Would that be the right term for this situation? Maybe. Yep. I mean, if you're, you're a seven... Are you, like, I usually say, like, I am a solid eight. 
If I'm like try, if I'm not being humble, I think I'm a solid eight. No, you're a nine. You're What's a nine on a bad day, Heather. A nine on a bad day. Okay, you saved yourself. I was be like, you're saying I'm not a ten in your eyes. Why is no. it not about a one? Of course, it'd be a one to you. Uh, what scale is being measured on here? Appearance, obviously. About how hot I am. What else would we be measuring? Our tits? Because that'd be a zero. How could you say this to me? I was just thinking about today. It's like, man, sometimes I just wish I was a stupidly hot big titty bimbo. Just slutting it up. But I'm just like, I got no titty and I'm a burnet. You can't be a bimbo and be a burnet. That's just, that's not right. For the sake of your spine, I am happy that you are not that. When we want to have big titties. Big old badonkadonkers. Big old mommy milkers. Big old back problems. Whatever. You know, everyone says, like, oh, you're gonna have back problems. Everyone knows that's a flimsy fucking thing. They're living their best lives with their big old tits. I've never heard the back problem excuse from anybody who takes care of themselves. Besides, uh, humans get back problems anyway. I know. I was, I was getting, I was gearing up to say I have back problems without giant boobs. I couldn't imagine with them. Well, you probably also don't take care of yourself. You gotta get, you gotta hit the gym and do those, and do those uh, back extensions, and you've gotta do uh, pull-ups. But gyms require a membership. Yeah, and they're hard to uh, get out of when you want to be out. You need to, you need to find a park bench and get a pull-up bar for 30 bucks that'll attach to your door. And some kettlebells. Right. They sell kettlebells. They sell they sell 10-pound kettlebells down at um Dollar General. Dollar Ge Yeah, you know, you work there. Go get go get a pair of those. I have a 10-pound uh, dumbbell somewhere. Mhm. Mm you know, you or you could just visit Bronny. He has like his own home gym now. That's true. What was the rank on your spare bedroom going for again? Uh, nothing at the moment. Um, besides, you really want to go through all the trouble of moving down to Florida? You just started another job? I mean, maybe. There are a lot of things in my life that are solid babies at all times. Alrighty then. And Doodlebug says, at least Heather is in Bell Def uh, Delphine. I would totally sell my bathwater, girl. <laughs> just, just New controller says, evening, how's everyone? It's like, I'm just saying, I would do it. Trent says, I'd call myself a six. No, well, I'd call you a Trent. Uh, Railroad wants to know what we would do with the oddly specific $175 million. $175 million? I'd move the hell out of here! And I'd I give would... Brownie all the money to do all the stuff with his house, and then we just live forever in happiness and richness. I would immediately put $100 million into various, various savings accounts, make sure I had enough to live on at least semi comfortably, and then use the rest of it to crash the stock market. I don't think it. that's enough to crash the stock market. Uh, you're right. Wrong terminology. Make the hedge funds bleed. All right, that might work. Uh, Trent says, I'd build a replica of the wheel from Wheel of Fortune. I, I don't think you need $175 million for that. I bet Google knows the answer to this. Uh, 
Ugh. Hey, Brandon, does your fridge make the water good? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, that's something that's going to take some money to fix, and right now it's not on the list. Yeah, you got to add that. Does it even yeah, make... I know. Does it even make the no. ice? Nope, but uh, I do have ice trays. It's it's on the list, but it's going to take me a long time to get to, Heather. I know. There is, there is so much to do. I need like I need like a ten man crew and a weekend. If I had a ten man crew and a weekend, it would get, it would all get done. But I probably got to do it all myself. <laughs> so let me know which weekend, and we'll make it only nine out of four people you need. Yeah, I would come. Do I count as a man? I don't see gender. Cool. Bronny, totally pansexual. Alrighty then. Doodlebug says she'd live in Japan for a year with that money. Well, listen, 175 million. I would just go visit Japan. I don't want to live there. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have to do anything for the rest of your life with that money. If you're your even children would smart. not have to do anything for the rest of their lives either. Exactly. supposed to have one? Nah, I like this on the inside better. Yes, perfect. Alright, chain one. So, Railroad says that they would buy a Boeing 757-200 and start a, their own airline called Pacific North. Alright. That'd be cool. Not gonna get a whole lot done with one plane, but uh, I'm sure if he invests it properly, that if, can eventually turn into a fleet. I bet if he goes, like, it's a private jet, he could get all the CEOs and millionaires who don't want to, like, go through TSA or, like, have to, uh, you know, fly with other people. Could work. Mm -hmm. Assuming those rich people don't already have their own private jets. Which, you know, if they were somewhat smart, they'd be like, I'm not going to keep my own private jet. I'll just rent one when I need one. Because you don't need one all the time, do you? Uh, that's usually what they do is, like, they own it, but then they just keep it in a hangar like they'll rent a hangar at the airport it seems like a waste of money like unless you're trapped like your work requires you to travel every week yeah but people with money are stupid I guess I'll just have you to... gotta get that just right because a lot of people with money are really stupid because they get they never need anything so they get disconnected from how the world works and uh, people without money are quite often pretty stupid because the reason they don't have money is because they don't know how to manage anything. It's one banana. What could it be? Ten dollars? <laughs> you calling yeah, exactly. me an idiot, Ronnie? Yes, what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, you showed him. Yep. Uh, to be rich. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot of topics to talk about today, huh? I found out how to make soap. Yeah? PBS had instructions on how to make soap, and I will make soap one day. Sweet. Uh, mm, Alright then. Soap! I have such a boner for that stuff when it smells super good. Yep, I remember that, Miss 8920. You remember and, uh, exactly how much I spent? Yes, because because I, I rounded it to $90 one time and you pitched a fit. 
Well, I'm sorry. I'm you're misrepresenting me. But like, why are you being such a freaking? Sh I don't know. So particular about it. It was my money anyway. Cause it's funny. That's why. It was great ass soap. I don't believe you. It's pretty good soap, man. You gotta try it. She she bought like she bought at least a year's supply of soap. Hell yeah. Maybe a little Probably less. Than eighty eighty nine twenty. Not a bad deal. Well, if I if I yeah, I mean it was like fifteen bucks a bar or something like that. Between five and fifteen bucks per bar. No, it definitely wasn't fifteen bucks. I don't think each little bar of soap was over ten dollars. Like it depended on which ones, because I think some were like not seasonal, but like limited time only. Especially the ones like Remember Me, because that's like based off that Coco movie. Because this was at Disney Springs, so it's like Disney themed soap. Mm. Okay, that makes more sense. So yeah, it wasn't like over ten dollars per bar. So I got quite a lot, and I still have some. And I just keep using it. I love using that kind of soap on my body. It makes me feel like a princess. That's that's just my part of my self care, honey. You just gotta let me go with that. Right. I'm not. I'm not stopping you. I'm just making fun of it for the stream. Why do you gotta be a hoe though? You're being a hoe. Entertainment value. It's funny to be a hoe, Brownie. Is that what you're saying? You like being, yes, exactly. You like being a little hoe boy. Yep, I do. I it brings me is, great is, joy. What is this? Are you gonna fucking make out right now? What the fuck is going on? I don't feel particularly horny right now. Probably because I finished my ginger ale, and my tummy is like, I liked that. Go get me more, and I'm like, no, we can't have more than one a day. Hey, is your is your stomach still bothering you today? No, not really. I think I'm getting period cramps. Mm. Sorry, people. I didn't mean to get so graphic with you. <laughs> Doodlebug I, says Disney and their overpriced crap. I, I'm i sorry. I like to go shopping and I like spending lots of money. And Disney has stuff to spend money on. Oh, do they? Heather, I want to spend $15 on soap. Spencer, yeah. I'm going to go through and uh, cross-reference all the deodorant in Dollar General to find out which one is the best value. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's like, what you do. I just want to go into a I'm going to make a video out of it, so hopefully if I get monetized and that takes off, I can subsidize the cost. And buy more soap. And then what you do is you is when you fill out your taxes, you expense uh, that to your LLC that you also got for yourself. I think an LLC uh, license costs like $150 for a processing fee, and you get that back on your tax returns. So not only is it... A, it, it, is it is the video paying for the supplies itself, but you're getting that money back the next time you file taxes. You just gotta save the receipt. Hmm. All right, I shall have to look into this process. This is so confusing. What's confusing? I'm in a single crochet in the same stitch I already have a loop in, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Mm. Like, hold on, I gotta sneeze. It doesn't look like, uh, God bless you. It doesn't look like it's giving you any trouble. If it if it is, you're certainly making it look easy. I make a lot of stuff look easy, but my life is hard. You know we what are else all is hard? hard? I'm pretty hard right now. You, you know what else is hard, Heather? You. My life. No, oh. that's not as fun. Nope. Front loops or back loops? Railroad says, Heather is the guy from the math problem who buys like 20 bars of soap. Hell yeah, I am. <laughs> I didn't realize many, I was the guy. How many bars of soap did you buy over there, Heather? Fuck, I don't know, man. I think I still have five more. I don't and, know. And about how long does it take you to go through one? A week or two? Like, a week or two? Maybe, maybe longer. I still have some, so. It takes a bit. Well, if it only took you a week, you wouldn't still have any. I know you didn't buy that much. That's true. I, I don't know. Like, uh, I think maybe three weeks. Maybe more. I don't know. I've been paying attention. Try to count right. my stitches. Seven. 
Doodlebug says sneeze into your shirt. Why? I I'm in my house alone. I can sneeze where whenever, I wherever, and however I want. You never know when one of your stalkers is going to come into your room one day and look at all your stuff. All right, be considerate. But they should be happy. I thought that would be like something they want. You thought wrong. Damn it. Who goes? It's not me. Okay. All right, so it's not Brandon. Iris P95 says, hi, Heather, and uh, Invisible Sweetie Bloom. Uh, oh, she's... Dang, she's been there the whole time? She's really quiet. Eh, uh, she's in the kitchen or something. How is everybody? Yeah, we I fam. As far as I can tell. Yeah, you're kind of staticky, man. Yeah, one second. Next. Now you're really quiet. Yep. Uh, you gotta fix those settings, my dude. Oh, and he's already gone. All right. <laughs> so, when do I gonna be expecting those the two hundred dollars, Brian? Never. Then you're never getting your orange soda. About the time that see. I don't need you. All I gotta do. Time I get this ten thousand dollars. All I gotta do is wait thirty-seven days, and I can get my orange soda. Yeah, but it's not for me. That's what made it special. Wait, how long is Lent? Forty. You really gave up soda oh. too? I don't know, I guess it counts as candy, but like... Liquid candy? I, I, I shouldn't drink soda anyway, it's it's like 30 grams of sugar per serving. I, that's why I only have it on the weekend. As a little treat. And I only have like Ronnie, one day. how often do you drink soda? Um, not very often, but still more than I should. How about now? Much better. Oh yes. Okay. I treat soda like alcohol, only on special occasions. Hmm. I don't often drink soda either. Uh, sometimes on special occasions, but... Um, Ginger ale counts that. too, I just gotta say. Either parties or holidays. I do all drink alcohol or soda. Ginger yeah. ale is what I can tolerate. I, I like ginger ale above everything else. Um, grape soda is pretty cool too, but I have to be in the mood for it. I like grape soda, it's one of my favorites. I I've been finding a lot of people like orange soda more than grape soda, and I don't know how. Uh, because orange soda is much better than grape soda, that's why. Uh, but, but how? Mm, it tastes better. Orange it's soda tastes like orange. Grape soda tastes like purple. Mmm, I love the flavor purple. Okay, but like, that's, that's an opinion. Mm-hmm. A correct opinion. No, no. And, uh, I can't even be part of this. My favorite soda right now is Bold Ginger Ale. Wait, what kind of uh, what what kind of ginger ale? Bold Ginger Ale. Bold Ginger Ale. Um, I've tried favorite. that stuff. I don't really like it. Oh, I will love it. The main three ginger ales <laughs> I've had, uh, in in the order of how much I like them. Seagrams. Uh, sorry, not Seagrams. Uh, Canada Dry. Hey, that's the kind I have Next, right now. Seagram, Seagram the third. The only drink, uh, the only soda that I drink outside of special occasions are very first. Specifically the lime flavor. But you know what else is pretty good? What? Hydrating yourself. And the only way you can do that is drinking water. Having, having a sufficient amount of water is good for keeping a healthy, uh, uh, oh my god, what's the word? I don't know about that. Healthy, uh, healthy state of homeostasis. I don't want to be a homo. Drinking some orange juice does some pretty good things. I don't know. Wait, what does? Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange, orange juice is sugar with all the good things that orange is taken out of it. Extra pulp. You are just not the fun. 
You were just not the Shut funnest the guy. Shut fuck up, like, Brandon. Pulp is delicious. Oh, I can't hear Heather. What? You were just not the funnest guy when it comes to consuming beverages. Uh, water is plenty fun. You get the right sweat. If it's so fun, why don't you go swim in it? Uh, I love swimming. Joke's on you. Go. Go. Go swimming in Brownie's pool. I don't care. I bet he pees in pools. Do not oh, yeah, go I swimming bet, in my pool. I bet Brownie pees in all the pools. I bet he's peed in the pool right now. You disgusting animal. Do not go swimming in my pool. I don't I, pee. I have I a don't... filter, but I haven't done anything to the pool yet. I, I don't pee in pools. I don't pee in pools. I pee onto the pools. I don't think I've peed in a pool. No, you know, you know what Louie is? Li <laughs> Louie's the guy that's going to find the jet and then just, like, press against it. That's the kind of guy Louie is. You gotta take up the one good jet. Jets are that, and I'm gonna announce it to all of you. Ugh. I don't like this. <laughs> this is what Just don't let Louis into the pool. That's a simple solution. Brownie, if I can't go into your pool, I'm not coming over. I never well, said you couldn't go into the pool. <laughs> I'm just like, don't do that. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I, you, I, you can, but, like, I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna stick my dick in your garbage disposal, Brownie. <laughs> no, don't do that! Uh... We're gonna clog it! <laughs> Whatever, I have liability insurance. This one's zero to a hundred real fucking quick. Yeah. It's only less. I'm the only one. Water is so good, why is there pirates in it? There's also sharks in it. Hey. I, I mean, I've been playing a lot of Sea of Thieves, so, I mean, I don't know. What's wrong with pirates? What's wrong with sharks? They steal my shit and they eat my legs. Uh, video game pirates, nothing. Real life pirates, everything. Well, yes, obviously. Um, but, where we are, I don't think we have to worry too much, too much about pirates. Like, I never know. They might start making land boats. Land boats, oh no. I'm sorry, land boats? Land boats. You heard don't, me. Don't we? Don't we have those? I, I just I just drove one to work today. I, I think no, that's a car. Going. No, that's a Wait, car. What's the difference? Oh, oh, so it literally sails on land. Yeah. Yeah, like you ever see that code name Kids Next Door, and they were like fucking pirates that just have a sh wooden ship that goes on the land and tears up the goddamn streets. That's a thing. Land boat. What even was that show? It sounds it so was a dumb. It's a fever dream of shit, let me tell you. It was very enjoyable to watch as a child. Looking back, it's just butt sh like, just fucking crazy, and I love it. I still like going back and watching certain things. I want access to 2x4 technology. It's great shit. If Emerald was in the show, I feel like he'd be that token character that after hacking to something, he'd say, I'm in, and that's it. <laughs> that's all he'd say. I'm in. You can buy the Ramo to do it. You need at least two. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm quoting a movie. I don't know what movie I'm quoting, though, because I've only ever seen that clip. I don't- I didn't know you were quoting a movie. I thought you just had your own cool lines. Please, no one here is original. That's true. It's totally true. Ugh. Thanks. Now, how uh, was your day today, Brandon? Um, my day was, was fine. Um, didn't have too much going on. I rang up customers, and I rang up customers, and, uh, yeah, I rang up customers. Wait, wait, wait. Cool. Did you also bring up customers? I did, actually. It's funny you say that. You work at Home Depot, right? Well, uh, no one else, no one needed to know that, but yes. Damn it! Okay, you could have lied about it. I'm sorry, I, for, I forgot you didn't. Well, I, I also could have said hardware store. Sorry, I didn't think. But the point is, I need you to bring me some Gorilla Glue. Uh, you still haven't gotten any? I know, right? I was at the hardware store today, and I, I picked it up, and I was like, why do I need this again? And I was trying to save money. This big idiot. He needs nice Gorilla strength. Glue. He needs no, Loom. No, that's that's the equivalent of walking up to your room to get something, not knowing what it was, and then walking back out. 
Yeah, I, I know. I know, okay? Oh it, was a, it was a long, stressful day, and I got nothing done. You got one thing done. Yeah, um, I got one thing done, and I even that was done pretty poorly. I'm not I'm not happy with myself today. Someone says, Brownie, don't put the Gorilla Glue in your hair. Uh, he doesn't plan on it. I mean, on having hair or glue in it. I need glue. Where's the Gorilla Glue? <laughs> I need I need to put gorilla glue in my hair. It's the only way to stop what's very little left of it from falling out. Dude, don't rip Roddy apart. He's already falling apart the seams, Heather. Don't do that. Heather, I'm gonna gorilla glue your butt cheeks together. Don't do that. Then all the shit that goes out my ass is gonna start coming out my mouth. Is that what you want? Yes. Why? I mean, you already talk, so... Yeah, it's gonna get about a thousand times worse. I'm gonna talk so much shit on you. It's gonna stink real bad, Ronnie, because I've been holding a lot of shit back. You know, you should, I'm glad, you should I'm just glad. you should just let it loose, Heather. Just do it. Ronnie, you bald bearded pedo. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I decided to not eat before this. Yeah, no, absolutely. I did, and I'm in a terrible state of affairs right now. Yes, we, we, we do know that. Domestic violence. Okay, yeah, that sounds like the solution. <laughs> Leo says Brawny has no edges, and I have no idea what he means by that. You gotta be edgy, Brawny. You know, it's it's not edgy. Which, I don't, I don't know, what, what's, what's so edgy about getting in this anyway, right? Ooh. Holy shit, that was loud. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm tired. That was quite loud. I thought that was a siren for a second. Jeez, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, just lower the volume. <laughs> Good being a baby. That was the loudest yawn in the history of yawns. No, it wasn't. When... Even when I even when I when I get up and like yell out a primal roar, it's not that loud. <laughs> when do you do that? Is that when a normal not, thing? When I'm not looking forward to my day. <laughs> I just I'll, imagine I'll, I'll you. Li I'll literally, I'll literally, I'll literally stretch and I'll just be like. Ah! <laughs> I actually imagined that, like you just get up in the morning out of bed, look out the window, and just go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that! Well, demonstrating that actually gave me a headache. Oh my god! <laughs> How's the mitten coming, Heather? Uh, pretty good. I finished the band part, so I'm making like the hand part. Heather. Yes. Do you want a pair of mittens? Is that what you're trying to say? I actually, wait, I thought the deal was Dead by Daylight, not Silent Hill Edition. Oh, okay, I was relating it to what Is I was doing. Is that even on sale now. anymore? Probably not. I'll just, I'll just pay full price. I don't give a fuck. It's a, it's a fucking Dude, impressive. I want to I wanna get so good at Pyramid Head to the point where like I can main it. Main it. I was talking to one of my coworkers about Dead by Daylight, and... And I was asking about it, and, uh, Louie, you said the Legion is the worst character? I remember you saying something like that. He was one of the worst. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh man, he would have a bone to pick with you. He loves the Legion. He mains someone else, but he loves the Legion. I mean, the Legion in a con as a concept is a cool character. He just sucks. I have not found any <gasps> lore videos about Bing Bong Boy. Bing Bong Boy? Who was that? Just read about him. You have you have eyes. Wait, who's oh. Bing Bong Boy? He was the Wraith. The Wraith. The wraith. Oh, oh, okay. I liked him the best. Who was the the, the hillbilly I think it was called he was called, right? I watched a video on him, it was very sad. 
I'd ask, but I don't want spoilers. I don't think, well, I don't know if they reveal in the game. I guess you could just read the bio in there. My ass just suddenly hurts. Ugh. Time for massage chair action. Leo says that there's a funny story he needs to tell Lou. Says me. Yeah. So this girl was offered a coke and she refused it because she's on a diet. But then she, then she gets offered a diet coke and says, "I'm gonna enjoy this with twenty chicken nuggets." That sounds about right. Um. Okay. I mean, I'm sure there's more to the story, but uh, so far that sounds just about right. Sounds sounds like my experience. Do you think that? Do they think the diet soda like takes away calories from other things, or like what? Some people do believe that, unfortunately. It's stupid. I was I mean, watching they... a documentary earlier uh, this week about a pair of sisters that and literally weigh like 600 pounds each and that's exactly what they said they're like yeah we drink 12 cans of of diet uh diet coke a day that's like a full pack though isn't it isn't yeah. that like 12 cans in a pack yeah like your yeah. standard pack yeah the only you buy at the store in a box yeah i don't know how you go i just think of how much money that cost i could just think of do you have a good job of... or some shit that hurts. That hurts my stomach thinking about that. Especially diets. It's Coke. I hate Coke, and I hate diet. So soda mostly is garbage, and then uh, diet is just somehow makes it worse. It's like it's like picking up garbage and then rubbing it into more garbage and then topping it off with sludge. Oh, Leo says the reason she was on a diet was because her boyfriend said that she was getting fat. Uh, the story still isn't funny. If you... It says, if you give a woman a Diet Coke, the first thing she'll say, now I can eat anything. Okay. That's kind of sexist. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, that seems pretty sexist. Thanks. It's not kind of, it's very sexist. Oh, it but is. That's pretty bad, man. I'm already, I already have to work surrounded by... Hey, it's fine. Leo, as long as it's funny. No, but it wasn't. It, but it's not, is the point. Leo, you're not <laughs> funny and it sucked. <laughs> Alright, I think he got it. I think he gets it. Okay, he's still being sexist in there, though. Yeah. I never denied that. Ugh, you know what we haven't played in a while? What? Left for Dead 2. I, I forgot if I still have that downloaded. It's a pretty good game. I like the game. Leo goes, but not inaccurate. Okay, let me ask you this, Leo. What have you done to improve yourself in the last ever? Leo, just be quiet. Yeah, just con consider that, okay? J before you ever say anything about anyone else, ask yourself, what have I done to improve myself recently? If you've made some sort of effort somewhere uh, to look inside yourself and say, where where is the problem and have I done anything to, to try to fix it, then you have permission from the universe to talk a little bit of, a little bit of trash about people who other people who don't try right then you have permission from the universe to complain about the way your life is going because you're making an effort and that's respectable but don't do what you're doing right now <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I want a refund. <laughs> yeah, did I pay admission for this? No. Nah, right. this nah son, these ten cents are free. This, this 
much as it is free, I still want a refund. Yeah. All right. Point, uh, point, point of the story is, uh, don't, don't be a sexist. Just don't. It's, it's easy. You know, it's easy to respect women. It's easy to just not say the disrespectful things that you were thinking. I respect women. I just don't respect others. Yeah, that's true. Disrespecting me is different than disrespecting all women. I mean, I still don't think anyone in the chat is at liberty to do that, because you don't know me like that. I will grab a mini filly by the ankles and Hulk smash them like Loki. I was hoping you were going to make a Salmonella reference by saying, I will punch you into the sun. This sounds like Celestia on a bad day. Well, no, if you have a... Alright, so, here's my tier for Salmonella uh, punch references. You will say that you'll punch someone over, the hou over your house if you're mildly agitated. You'll say that you'll punch someone into the sun. No, sorry. You'll punch someone into the stratosphere when you're very upset. When you're seeing red, I will punch you into the sun. I, wanna address... I don't know where this thing is coming from. I want to address well, something yeah. in the chat real quick. Uh, Railroad said, the one improvement I've made in myself is writing my anger and frustration into a 10-paragraph paper. It's not good because it's mainly rants about my life and why I hate some people. It looks awful. No, I think that's a very constructive way to handle your anger, is to write stuff. Like, it's that uh, concept of writing an angry letter and then never sending it, just ripping it up and throwing it away. Yeah. You know, that's a very good way to manage your anger, a way to express it without okay, yeah, doing uh, something volatile. Would it be all right if I if I expanded on my earlier point? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is write another one, but turn it inward, right? Because it's very easy to find the source of <clears throat> something when you can try to pin it on something else. But I'm old enough and I've lived enough life to know that just about every problem I've ever had, with very few exceptions have been caused by me. Hmm. So you've got to, you've really got to look inward to find the source of your problems. Yeah, it's a weird, complex thing to do because it's all, in a way, I think it could, like, lead to some self-esteem issues, but I would try to give yourself some, some credit along and, the way. Like, he's like, all, this is what I could have done better, but now I know. And if all you're doing is blaming other people, <clears throat> that you're never going to fix anything, right? Because then it's never it's never your fault. Uh, and you can't control other people. You can only control yourself. But when you find the problems that you're causing for yourself, you now have control over them because it's, it's you. That's how progress gets made. So about that refund... Nah, man, we're being wholesome tonight. Uh, uh, niceness and stuff. I, I gotta... Oh, well. We're, we're out here being aggressively wholesome tonight. That's the only way I know how to be. Yeah. I was just about to say, I can only... When I hear wholesome and aggressive, I can just only think of Heather yelling at me for the seventh time about resting. Yeah, resting in between piano stuff, which are you doing? Yes, actually. Good. I'm proud of you. I thought you were going to say, like, the way Heather treats Knife sometime when I just yell at her and go, I love you so much! You are adorable! Or sometimes the way I treat Ronnie, which is very aggressively. It hurts sometimes. You just gotta, like, remember the safe word. We never established one. I keep asking, and you keep denying me. Well, I thought you said you didn't like kinks. Kink shaming is my kink. Mm. You know, the pretty good band. I like the kinks. Yeah, they are great. I'm sure they're amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good. The, the safe word is diffusing the situation that has made me aggressive in such a fashion. 
Mm -hmm. Speaking of piano, my mom just came in the room and said that we're gonna have a piano lesson tomorrow. Oh, nice. Much initiative. Vigorna wants me to to repeat everything I just said, but with a Randy Savage impersonation. I don't think I can do a good Randy Savage impersonation. I've done a Randy Savage impersonation, and I've heard it back, and it's it's not good. Mm, why don't you do... What's that other guy? The guy that's blonde. Hulk Hogan? Yeah, try him. Uh, I can't do him either, I can promise you that. Hmm. Apparently, when I was in college, uh, it, like, in, <laughs> I remember my community college orientation, and this uh, girl came up to me. We, we ended up becoming friends later down the line, but she just came right up to me and go, did anybody ever tell you that you look like, uh, that you look like uh, Matt Hardy? And I'm like, I don't even know who Matt Hardy is. Usually people th tell me I look like Steven Seagal. And, um, and so I looked up Matt Hardy, and apparently I do look I did look just like Matt Hardy. She I don't look just like Matt Hardy anymore. I've changed my beard style, and I don't have the long ponytail anymore. By the way, last 10 minutes of the stream, last 10 minutes of the stream, any last minute comments, questions, or concerns, please hold, tell them now, forever hold your silence until the next stream. Thank you. Last Ra minutes of the stream. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Railroad says, I look at them as if a different person wrote them. That doesn't help anything! Hey, give him some chill. He's learning. Alright. This is, this is how we learn, though. Yeah, you know? Don't get disconnected from your anger. You, it's a healthy emotion to have because it means you're unhappy with something. You just gotta manage it properly. You know, don't lash out at others and don't turn it too much inward to where you're hurting yourself. What are we going to do tomorrow, Heather? Well, I got uh, some things going on. I got to play Roblox with my nephew. I got to, uh, I got a meal prep for the next uh, day. And I got to do some line art for my upcoming kazoo cover. Mm. That's all pretty good. Yeah. Maybe I'll try to chill a bit. I need some chill. Feels like the weeks just keep getting me more and more weary. That's alright. Uh, Doodlebug says we're going to try to take over the world. Well, all right. I suppose we can fit that in somewhere. Just as long as we're in bed by 10. All right, I can get behind that. I don't know. It's hard to fit that. Having to email a million people like I've been having to do recently. <coughs> Love wow. Me. Yeah. Also, I have not heard Spencer talk in a while. Oh, that's well, fine. You guys were keeping the conversation going well without me. Yeah, but we still want to hear from you. You're on the stream. Keeping the party going. I don't want to hear from any of you. Can I Why are you here? <laughs> to I cause just... chaos. None of you ever do it. What are you talking about? I, I, have you not heard the past couple of streams? No. <laughs> so you don't even have a base of reference. He's been well, here for a gets on the stream and plays his video games in the background in general just doesn't <laughs> participate. Oh, I like um, it's uh it's funny because I've been here the past couple of streams, so I literally could hear everything. Uh Bronny, I don't know if you noticed, but uh Trent's been asking if you're still exercising tomorrow. Yes, we are going to exercise tomorrow in my Discord server at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it will be fun. At least I hope it will. We're doing this to celebrate my setting up my uh, exercise room in my house that I bought. Oh god, that's still stinky. 
It's still settling in, Heather. Isn't that glorious? You know? Yeah. You know, when, honey, whenever it feels like too much and you're just feeling down, you should just say, like, I have I have what I want, though, now. You have this. I do. I, I set up my chessboard yesterday, Heather. I put a chessboard on a table as a decorative but functional piece of my of of my living space where I would entertain guests. I've wanted to do that for a decade, Heather, and I finally got to do it yesterday. I almost cried. <laughs> oh, honey. I wish I was there to give you a hug. It's This is a very emotional thing for you. It is. I'm barely keeping myself together over here. I wish I could be there for you for this. This is a big moment that I'm just missing out on. It's okay. We can figure this stuff out pretty easy. Cool. Five, last, I oh yeah, you, last, I love you too, honey. But it's the last five minutes of the stream, last five minutes of the stream, any last minutes, comments, questions, or concerns, please settle them out, verbal, just silence until the next stream. <laughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, um, just got the room for a second. You know, you just got all choked up, it's okay. <sighs> I feel pretty good, Heather. That's good. I've been wanting you to feel good for a while. I just what else should we talk about tonight? Oh, I just found a funny image. Give me one second. <laughs> Gorna says, one day, Brawny, one day you'll be able to do an impassant and someone on that chessboard, and then spend the next 15 minutes explaining how that's a valid move. I've, uh, I've, uh, I've lived that experience a few times, and you know something, that's a rite of passage for every chess player. God, I, I, I'm not, like, fucking experienced enough in the chess field to even understand, and I've really tried. I just can't. I'll understand in general, or what an impassant is? Well, I don't know what an impassant is, but like, I roughly understand what pieces do, I just have no idea, like, what to do or how to win. So, it's a patience I, game, Heather. I don't have patience! I'm used to my well, games where I'm shooting guns! Get the job done! Right away! Instant gratification. Wait for it. <laughs> My friend just sent me an image. She says it's apparently real. Uh, it's immature viewers only. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, <at> huzzah. <laughs> oh, gosh, that is too extreme. You are gonna hurt yourself with that. <laughs> Russ and Ken. What if it what if it rips it off? I don't know. Um <laughs> It's going to hurt people. <laughs> Kitty, what is it? Yes, Railroad, you should be very concerned at what we've been looking at. No one tell him what it is. <laughs> Not planning on it. Alrighty then. Last two minutes, Heather. Call it. Um, I usually wait till the last minute. Why not switch it up tonight? But why switch it up at all? 
experimentation. You don't know until you try. In this case, you have nothing really to lose. Quick chat, give us those hard-hitting questions. Yes, the ones that take several minutes to answer. Go for it. No, it's the last minute of the stream, last minute of the stream, guys. Any last minute comments, questions, or concerns? Guess you're gonna have to wait till next week. Oh, here's a good one for you. Doodlebug says, It's fun to hear you guys yammer about different stuff, and Heather's crochet pieces are nice to look at. Thank you. I especially like this color scheme, because it's a multicolor yarn. I gave Bronnie's mother a scarf made out of this exact same yarn, so I feel like uh, some mittens made out of this material would be very nice for her. Heather, I just had an idea, and uh, feel free to shoot this down because it would be extra work, but like, what if you made one of those mittens that has like openings for each of the fingers and then has like a flap that goes over the fingers? Uh, that's not the kind of pattern I'm using, but I've never done finger holes before, so I'm not confident my first attempt sh at this should be a gift to somebody, you know? That's understandable, but like, yeah, I just, I just thought of it and I thought it would be cool, so I wanted to say it. Yeah. Like, I gave most of your family, like, scarves the last time I was there, so I was going to try and make them all gloves and mittens this year mm -hmm. that would go with what I made them. I think, I can't remember quite what color scheme the scarf I gave your sister was. I remember clearly your mother's, and I'm pretty sure your brother and your father were both, like, blacks and whites and grays. So that's easier to I'll have them. I'll have them take pictures of their stuff and send it to you. All right, that's good. Be very subtle about it. Yep. Also, we should call them tomorrow and, and chat with them together. Sure thing. All right, guys, so it's the end of the stream. Let's, uh, how about everybody say goodnight in alphabetical order? So what? I guess that would mean, Brando, you first. Have a nice night. Ronnie? Good night, everyone. Emerald? Good night, everyone. Louie? Good uh, night. And good night, everybody. It's been a great stream. I want to take this moment to thank my patrons. We got Emerald Spencer up in my stream chat here. There's also DJ Skywalker and Filmer Brony. They're pretty awesome guys. And if you are also injured... Ow, knife! Oh, your claws were in that one. Oh, <laughs> right on the thighs. <laughs> God. They didn't break the skin, so it's fine. Gotta love them. She good night to everybody. She good night. She good night. She good night. She good night. And uh, so yeah, if you want to support me on Patreon, which and vice versa, it supports Knife as well. You can go ahead and click the link in the description, and that'll take you to my Patreon. You can choose which tiers you like. For uh, ten dollars per post, you can get on my Discord server where we chat about stuff. We play video games occasionally. We post a lot of memes, and Brandon's always posting stuff in Music Channel. I'm pretty sure. So look forward to that. And if you want something a bit smaller, you can always do two dollars per post, and you can get a kazoo cover. I'm working on one currently, and the last one was pretty wild. So they're pretty good stuff. So I'm pretty sure you would enjoy that. And, uh, you know, if you feel like I'm worth only a one-time donation, you can go ahead and get my PayPal link that is in the description. Put that in your, your URL, and you can give me however much you think I'm worth. But no negative numbers. We don't do that here. Anywho, thank you for coming on to the stream tonight, everybody. It's been great, and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Good night.